Gameplay wise, um, Requiem was also not very good. No, gameplay wise, it was a bit boring. So it's funny because like they made a, a story-driven game, but they forgot about the game part and they forgot about the story part. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not trying to be mean, but like, they they just did. Like, it's just. The guard AI in that game is very reminiscent of the guard AI in like Half-Life 1 from like 1998. Maybe more stupid. Guys, this is not the run. This this ain't the run. Oh no. Uh, I need an upgrade. Okay, I can get the tier 2 upgrade over here, that's nice. Loco is wasting so much time mining uselessly. I think I've been doing some very effective mining this run, didn't I? Hey, thank you, Thort! Gifting a sub to Acre. You would have aborted this run 10 minutes ago? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't... Uh, maybe I should have. But last time's the run, you know, whenever they went poorly, we died really quickly, so I kind of assumed it would be the same over here, but... Maybe that means this is not a poor, uh, more poor run, man. I'm just not finding any of those chips, though. Oh, there we go. Some base repair and a chip. Come on, don't be scared. Drill mining or, or, uh, sorry, drill burnt or blast mining. Okay, fine. I think it's the sign. My BFF drill burnt. I can upgrade drill burnt. A little bit. Come on, drilly man. Man, just going all the way down takes forever. <laughs> Go, Drillbert. Yeah, this is rough, man. Drillbert doesn't have a lot of upgrades, so without any upgrades, he's not getting anything done. So I got him an upgrade already, but... Normally, I think you get him a little bit earlier in the game, so you actually have time to scale him up. Right now, there's nothing to mine anymore with the low, you know, quality resources, so... Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good now. Oh, I should have activated the spray. You think Drillbert has gone through one block yet? <laughs> Come on, man! Ay, ay, ay. Completely dry.
Okay. I don't think carrying this much is a good idea. Come here. I should definitely mine out the right side of the map a little bit more though, because I think I'm actually wasteful there. Um... Okay, if I can survive, I will try and do another resource hole, but... Oh no. Oh no. Was that thing up in the air? <sighs> I don't know what happens when you lose a run in this game mode. I wonder if you get to take any of the resources from the previous run into the next. Probably not. I have several hit points left. Multiples. I mean, it's just too slow to bring all of this up. Oh, and again, I need to activate the fucking repellent thing. So I've currently got 18 points. I don't think 18 points is very good. Okay. Speed upgrade? Can I catch that? Or not speed upgrade? No, it's not speed. Can't afford it. If I'm not home in time, I'm super dead. But I also don't think I can really just sit in my base and hope for the best. Yeah, they always come in multiples though, so that's nice. Nope, I don't have the resource to repair. There's one resource to repair, it's the one in the bottom. So from the three resources that I've got, the one that's like the triangle, the red one, I, I don't have any of it. Okay. Taking a bit of a chance, hoping I will find a big source of resources here, but... I should get some? Well, it hasn't been for a lack of trying. I am fast, but... I think I'm even faster at dying. We tried, we tried, we tried. Leaderboards? I don't want to hear it! Someone sent me this picture of cheese and onion sandwiches from their local pub. What? Mate. That is... Uh, that is just a slap of cheese with a slap of onion.
Not does not look very good. No. So what if I start another run right now? Yeah, so you don't you don't get anything cool here. I like the laser dome more than the sword. We'll go back to a relic hunt. I'll try out um, brutal difficulty, medium sized map, long cycle. I think that's good. Yo, you zine, thank you very much. Glad you enjoy, welcome to the stream. Loco, here's one even worse. Okay, fine. I'll look at one more terrible sandwich. A Twinkie Wiener sandwich? I, I don't... I don't know, man. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I need four of these. Good. Bring them up. Bring them up. It's gonna take a moment, but we're gonna be able to upgrade our drill speed right away. You see my drill speed APM? Thank you for noticing, dude. I didn't think anyone was gonna be able to tell ballistical. I was putting in so much effort. Even though your game is on pause when you're on that screen, I was still, you know, going full serial on the APM. Oh! This has potential. Give me something good. Not the condenser, okay? The condenser is not something good. That does not fall into the something good category. A lift? I will take a lift. Bro, do you even lift? Oh wait, no, I'm playing long cycle, so I was gonna say. So the tele elevator can bring resources to the surface. Plus, if I go in it myself, I can actually speed up. I have to get upgrades for that, but... One nice thing about the elevator, too, is that you can actually see where the center of your mine is. Underrated advantage. That's very simple, Dynamite. Basically, the run... We just started a fresh run. Enemies will appear... On the dome, I have to protect the dome and I have to live until I mine a certain resource that's down below, hidden underground, and we don't know where it is. It's randomized, so we don't really know where it's gonna be either. Okay, so now the dome is being attacked. I don't currently have an upgrade on my dome to see when the attack wave is going to hit. Oh god, we're playing Brutal now, though. And Brutal is pretty scary, because apparently it starts with one of the flying enemies. That is a lot more than the default. Okay. I'm like an Archon being pushed right now, man. Gamer moves right here. I can only carry like four of them, but I carried a whole lot more than that to the top. If you guys want uh, Dome Keeper coaching, you can hit me up on Patreon. 
high level gameplay, dude. Professional gaming moves exclusively on this stream today. I mean every day. Here, take these, little ball. Look at why only on Patreon and not on OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans, LRS. If you are paying for someone called Loco TV's OnlyFans, I hate to break it to you, bro, but it ain't me. <laughs> Loco, is it true that you are the rank 46,222? Yes. Yes. I didn't want to bring it up and flex in front of all of you guys, but uh, I've been, I am indeed the rank 46,222 in this game. I'm hoping to reach rank 42069 by the end of the year. It's gonna be hard, but. Okay. <sighs> Loco, what about this? Or chat? What, yes or no? What is this? Mate, 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 mate. I don't, I, that's, that's, that's a Mars, and, and, a, and a, no, 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 no. That's illegal. That is illegal. I'm gonna have to ban you from the stream now. Hate to break it to you, man, but, uh, I'm sure you get it. Fireworks! That looks good, actually. Oh my god, Rendover. It's been so many years, man. Why'd you have to... ...make this be the end? Ah! Uh, laser! Okay. Sniped. Okay, fine, one more. You made bread? Oh, okay, I was actually concerned that there was gonna be something else nasty. That looks like a damn good bread. Why is there a, 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 a... Move the cloth, bro. But that looks like a, a, a... Nice loaf of bread. Average size bread? You think that's average? I think that's a large bread, actually. Can't believe you called that an average bread. That was definitely a large. I'm feeling insecure about my bread right now, dude. Actually, no, I haven't eaten any bread over the last couple days, guys. I have replaced the bread with rice. I uh, don't want to flex on you guys again. So shortly after my previous flex, but uh, I have a rice cooker now. I have not really had a lot of rice for breakfast, but that's mostly because I don't eat a lot of breakfast. I feel like that's a good excuse. I don't have an air fryer. I also do not have a microwave. No. Loco, you know you can cook rice on a stove? See, that's what I was saying for years. But recently I've become a... a rice cooker gang member. Now, I will let you know that the rice cooker gang can be quite aggressive with their love for the rice cooker. But I will now also join them in frowning at people that use a colander when making rice. When do I get my uh, significant <laughs> signature look of superiority? I uh, yeah, I I wanna. I'm I'm feeling like I'm already there. A rice cooker is the same as a toaster, loco. <laughs> like culturally, I see where you're coming from. I have a toaster? What do you need a colander for? 
Okay, so for those of you that uh, are grown up in uh, rice cooker households, right? That have just had rice cookers ever since you were a kid. Here's how uh, a lot of people read, um, mostly uh, Westerners that are not really familiar with, with rice. Um, here's how a lot of people do it. The instructions on the packaging usually give you a ratio of the amount of water you use and the amount of rice you use. And oftentimes the amount of water you use is like four times the volume of the fucking rice. Basically what it means is that you have a lot of leftover water after you're done boiling it, right? After you're done cooking it. So what you have to do is you, you throw it through a colander to get the extra fucking water out. Yes. Yes. This is, this is, I, I, sorry, I hate to break this to you guys. I know this will hurt you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Colander when making rice. This is a very high ya moment indeed. Twitch Ted has taught me about the finger method. Initially, I thought it was something dirty, but I looked it up. It could be considered kind of, but it, it wasn't. The finger method for rice is when you... Say you have like a pot of rice. Okay, maybe someone needs to correct me. But you have like a pot of rice and you're like, okay, I, I need to cook this rice, right? The way you figure out is how much water you need is by putting your finger top on it and you basically fill the water until like the first knuckle. So it's like, you know, say this is much the amount of rice you have in like, you know, a pot. It goes up to like a little bit above it. That's it, right? Thort is freaking out. You're a professional. You use the eyeball method rather than... Dude, I am... I am just barely promoted to high silver league. I am not at your pro level yet of eyeballing the amount of water you need. That's insane, dude. I hope I will arrive there one day. Not quite yet at your level, but... The finger method is the best. That's what she's... Uh, no, no, come on, man. You can't just... <sighs> Is this the finger method? This is a three minute long video. Fine. I'll look at the three minute long video. For rice. You and Hersha Patel, I guess. No worries. This video is here to answer the two most important questions. First, I'm, I'm bored. And the cold running water. It's done when the water becomes grandmother. We call it the magical finger. Flatten the rice, poke your finger into the rice, make a hole, and use the line on your finger as a marker. Now you have to look at the middle phalanx. Fill the water to the exact location as they were in the proximal. <laughs> that is it. That's how to get it right. It, it kind of depends on the size of your finger, okay? You might want to go. This is. This seems a little more complex than it absolutely needs to be, dude. I, I, don't, I don't think you really need to do it like that. It sounds unhygienic. Mate, if only you knew how much... Any chef in any restaurant you've ever been to touches the food before it goes onto your plate. <laughs> like, food in a restaurant is like 95% food and like 5% chef, okay? They're like touching your food, they're handling it all. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not foolproof, because Hagrid would definitely use a lot of... Yeah, Hagrid, Hagrid would be way too much water. Thor is still freaking out.
That's why you cook for yourself. Going to a restaurant is pretty pocket. You only go to steakhouses? All right then. <laughs> uh, DLCs to Frostpunk are certainly worth it. Yes, sir. If you enjoyed the base game, the DLCs are basically the same, but more. They're like additional scenarios. Well worth it, in my opinion. You should actually wait until the sale is over and give the developers full price for that game, dude. I know it's on sale right now, but you should give the developers the support, man. <laughs> just wait until the sale is over. Pay full price instead. No, no, I'm just saying that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it. Um... Now these attack waves are pretty slow now. Oh my god, it's so slow. I should probably just dig out the entire previous collar before even considering moving onwards. I think I've mostly done that though. <sighs> you usually steam rice to use less water? I didn't realize that rice would be as heated of a debate as it is, guys. This is almost as debating... Like, the most heated I've ever seen Twitch chat get is when when it was first discussed what the best starter Pokemon is. This is getting pretty close. There were some guys that were saying, like... Those fake Pokemon from like the second and third, like Cyndaquil and stuff, like, oh my god, man. Like, no, those are not even real Pokemon. Those are fake. Always Squirtle. Squirtle 100%, man. I agree. Apparently Bulbasaur is actually good, but don't believe their lies. Switch or Steam Deck? Uh. Probably Switch, to be honest. But Steam Deck is pretty sick. It depends on if you have a computer and whatnot. If you have a computer, you'll probably enjoy the Switch a little bit more. Bulbasaur is awful, but he was my first starter. You never forget your first, do you? Oh. You haven't straight played on your PC ever since you got a Steam Deck? Nice. I, um, I'm not sold on handheld gaming in general. I know a lot of people really love it, but personally... I like, you know... Mouse and keyboard and PC and having a dedicated space for it and stuff, but I, I you know, I understand that like not everyone has that option I also get sweaty about games though, so maybe that's also a problem PSP was awesome, dude. I used I yeah, I used to PSP a lot back in the day. It was great like, basically, after I was done playing RuneScape, and my mom wouldn't allow me on the computer anymore, 
I would go upstairs and play on my PSP instead. I have never had a PS Vita, no. What game did I play on the PSP? I played through like Final Fantasy 7 a bunch of times and a whole load of games. I don't remember exactly what I played, but... You had friends to play with? Not me, dude. <laughs> no, but seriously, I thought the PSP was pretty sick. PSP was fun. Crisis Core, Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, man. That game was really fun. Yeah, he's talking about the television show, friends. What's this? A resource container can convert resources helping you balance your resource inventory? What? Convert four gold to... Interesting. Is that really what I want? That's new. I have not seen that before. I can upgrade that as well. Allows converting cobalt to iron and vice versa. Hmm. I came I came here to say hi to Drillbert. Sorry, mate. Drillbert passed away. He's dead. No, I'm just kidding. He's in a previous safe. But I don't think I can load that one. Funny prank, right? <laughs> really hilarious stuff. What about Drillium? Drillium also, I've not seen him today. Quick, quick, quick. Elevator is nice. I like the elevator. Well, the elevator is slow, though. That's the thing. So I still... I'm still... Uh, yeah. Not gonna just rely on it. I'm gonna get... This. I'm ready, monsters. Slowing them down. Jeez, that deals a lot of damage, man. It's like a chunk out of my HP bar, everything that thing fires. Oh, you can destroy the big uh, rock before it hits you? That's pretty useful. I've uh, accidentally done that a couple times. Okay, some more gold. Okay, a whole lot of gold. I'll drop it off over here. Is 
that's so, uh, Det C Jet. This game was proven to cause brain damage. That seems fair. It's already too late for me, man. Save yourself while you can. Let's go down, White Knight. Twitch jet causes brain damage. I've been in Twitch chat for many years. I think my brain's doing all right. Being a life causes damage, guys. That's the real kicker, man. Come on. Come bring it over. Come on, dude. You're part of Maynard's Twitch chat, so my IQ is quite high. <laughs> oh, okay then. Good for you. Maynard is a very smart guy, I agree. Sometimes I wish I was as smart as Maynard. But then I wake up. I realize, not an option. Sometimes I wish I could grow as magnificent a hair, but... <sighs> not at that level, dude. Okay, I have a lot of money right now. I don't want to flex on you guys, but I am fucking rich. Okay, now I'm poor again. Okay, I repaired the dome. Maynard is older and is married. Wait. Oh, because he's so wise is what you mean? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Mostly because I'm so young and not married. Does marriage immediately make you smarter? Is that how it works? Okay. Yeah, if if you're divorced a couple times, you uh, you must be the biggest brain ever. That's true, man. That's flawless logic right there. Oh, you add your wife to your like your own IQ. I think that's cheating, dude. I don't think that's how IQ works. I don't think it's cumulative. But then again, you know, it says in the Bible that uh, you're basically one person now, right? So, maybe you're right. Come on. Bring the resources to Loco. It's like tax returns. <laughs> If it works in Crusader Kings, it must work in IRL too, man. Okay, more gold! Let's go! Okay, I want to upgrade the elevator again if I can. So this is brutal difficulty, by the way. Things are going pretty well. Will I play the Crisis Core remake? Um, maybe. 
I considered this before. Like, they, they came out with that some time ago, right? Okay, let's see if I can upgrade the elevator. Yeah, maybe it's not worth. I should definitely upgrade this. Just because, because the heals are percentage based. There we go, that's nice. Mm. Iron duplicator, multiply iron. Ooh. That's interesting. I can create iron from no iron. Iron urn and iron urn, you know? And if Aaron can do it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that Thort. Hogwarts Legacy actually looks pretty sick. I hope it's not gonna be Plague Tale Requiem all over again, you know, where like, you know, it's pretty and all that, but the gameplay is not that interesting. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't be so mean to the game. The worst part about it is that they gave me a key for it. Like the developers of a Plague Tale sent me a key for the game. And I've been roasting it the entire time. Oops. Okay. Roasting is the best exposure. I don't know if that's true, dude. But yes, I'm gonna go with you, because it sounds smart. Okay. <laughs> Gryffindor, let's go. I'm more of a Slytherin Thork. I like to slip. No, no. No, stop. I did do a bunch of those uh, quizzes back in the day. I did the Pottermore ones and stuff. They do pretty much always give me Slytherin. Am I a snake? Yeah, I'm a terrible person, Thort. Took you this long to find out. After watching you play Frostpunk Loco, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? You found a one-way teleporter. Press Y to place the eye. Press again to teleport back to it. Wait, what? Okay. I can't believe you guys keep holding me responsible for my Frostpunk playthrough, okay? Especially after completing all the objectives. Now look, someone had to make the morally questionable choices, okay? So wait, I can teleport back to it? Oh, it was a one-time thing? Oh, fuck me, dude. That was... Uh... Not funny. Don't you dare post a keg W or an LUL. Not funny about that at all. No! No! Stop it! I 
All right, D-Don, Hunter, calm down, bro. I think it charges up again. Yeah, it is recharging. This is very slow, but... Ooh, a lot of gold, a lot of gold. I heard this is Elon Musk's favorite game, Digging Holes. Hey! What's going on, Pig General? Edgy. Okay, gonna drop these off as well and then we're going back. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh! Dragging them up! Or at least trying. <laughs> Bit of a mess, but... Okay, alright, alright. So what should my next upgrade be? Do I have to be concerned about these enemies? Twelve iron into one cobalt. Yeah, but how many can I put in here? If I can only put 0.2... Hmm. I'll have to give it a try. Yeah, it is brutal difficulty. I might want to see if I can upgrade the laser a little bit more. I'm one gold off. Can I get one gold, please? Okay. I'm ready to fire my laser! Popped. Popped. Good. It's a massive map though, it seems. Even though I didn't pick the huge sites, but... I uh, gotta be live for about another hour, by the way, today. I'm using a controller now. I started off with mouse and keyboard. Totally playable, but I was basically just using one hand. And, um... Seems like it plays a little bit more comfortable on uh, controller, but it's perfectly playable on uh, keyboard. No, no. Ah, it's worth having a controller, though. If you have a PC, I think it's actually still nice to have a controller, because many games do run really well off of a controller. Yes, that's it, Frau Dr. Merkel. This is basically a colonization simulator. Where somehow the aliens are the bad guys, and we are trying to liberate them. They just don't understand freedom. And you succeed after you kill them all off, apparently. It's, uh, it's a bit messed up, really, but... Uh No, Altron, no. This is released to build anticipation for Avatar 2. Dude, they're actually releasing it, right? It's actually coming out pretty soon. I don't even remember Avatar 1 that well, but that's basically the plot for Avatar 1, right? Yeah, yeah, basically it.
That movie was so sick when it released. How the fuck has it taken them this long to cash in on that hype? Something must have gone horribly wrong. COVID? Bro, when did the first Avatar movie release? When did the first Avatar movie release? Avatar was 2009! 2009! 2009. There's guys in the chat that weren't even born yet when that movie came out, man. Okay. I know companies love blaming COVID for everything, but like, I don't think that works for this one. Must be a damn good movie now, right? If it's taken them that long. James Cameron decided to go deep sea diving for three years. <laughs> Did he really? That's amazing. Good for him. I believe everything that people say in the chat. I'm very gullible. Um, oh god, maybe I should upgrade my laser again. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next. 